Hey there guys, Weenio here, and welcome to the Halloween, um, kind of, uh, review, let's look at, kind of, uh, or, kind of my plans for, not for Halloween, but for October in general. So many people have been asking, what are my plans for October, um, like, what am I going to be doing, things like that. Because last year, my Halloween special LP was uh, Penumbra and Grab by the Ghoulies, which both went extremely well. But uh, for this year, I decided I'm going to do it for all of October, not just for like the week of Halloween or Halloween and all of November, because that just seems lame. But uh, basically, we have a few games lined up that I would like to finish, but if any of these games don't get finished, then we'll just roll them into next year or who knows maybe I'll do something another scary marathon for like uh, for um, for December or something I don't know I don't know why that would fit there but it just m maybe it would maybe it wouldn't I don't know anyways so we have mostly mods in this uh, list of things that I plan to do and the biggest uh, ones I'll announce first, which is a first one is a Half Life One mod called Cry of Fear, and it's actually a pretty famous Half Life One mod because it's known for almost being a total overhaul of the uh, engine, and it really maximizes the Half Life One engine to its uh, maximum potential. But you might be saying, well, it's Half-Life 1, so how, could, how good can that possibly get? And, well, I guess we'll see, but I have watched a little bit of gameplay footage of it, and it looks like it's something that I'd really like to do. Number 2 is a Half-Life 2 modification, which is called Grey. And Grey, I think, is it's not as famous, but it's... Um, it's a little bit more underground in the Half-Life 2 mod community, but it's known to be one of the more scary ones and one of the more puzzle-filled ones. Another Half-Life 2 modification for our number 3 is going to be Monster House 2. And Monster House 2, from what I've seen, is actually a pretty uh, shocking game in terms of scares and stuff like that, so hopefully that goes well. Like I said, I've seen very minimum stuff on all these games, but I plan to do them all and hopefully get them all done in a reasonable amount of time over October. So those are your three main ones, but also in addition to those, I'm going to be trying to do Amnesia Custom Stories, and I'm going to be looking through mod databases to try to find the most highest rated ones currently and things like that, and just you know try to do the best of the best and try to really ramp up the fear and just in general the the scares and stuff like that like I don't really care if a game so much puzzle filled but if it can really you know get me jumping on face cam and if you guys can see my hilarious reactions to some of the stuff then I'm pretty sure it will get a seal of approval from me so basically that's pretty much the four main things if you'd like there to be a, um, say, like a Halloween themed game that isn't necessarily scary, tell me in the comments if you'd like to see that because one that I wanted to do, but I know for a fact isn't going to be scary at all, is Costume Quest. And Costume Quest has always been a game because it's Double Fine, and I trust Double Fine as a game developer to do good. And from what I've seen from it, it actually looks pretty fun, and it's a Halloween themed game, and it fits in perfectly for an October LP, but you never know. Another one that's on the cutting room floor for uh, length and things like that, because I have no idea about it, is Metro 2033, and this game is like in a minority of game knownness, it's slightly known for its scariness, and for its atmosphere. So. That's another one that's a possibility, maybe, but that's really pushing it because I don't know how long it is, and I have a feeling it's going to be kind of like a full-length game, and with the other three slash four that we have going on, we don't really have time to like 
you know, be putting stuff in. And then I don't really want this to run into November either. I want it to just be an October thing. And as for Halloween itself, I was thinking about maybe doing a special because I know some people have asked me about it. I might do a special where I do some runs of some of the slender maps and also try to do my best given runs of uh, SCP Containment Breach. And both of those games are very famous in the horror community for just in general being absolutely terrifying. And everybody knows what Slender is, but SCP Containment Breach is a little less popular, but I am just absolutely fascinated by the whole SCP universe. And it's weird that just one like horror game can just explode into a community, but I'll explain that all if I do all that stuff for an actual Halloween special. But um, I'm not 100% sure about that, but we'll see. Now on the issue of Banjo-Kazooie, Bioshock, and Fallout 3. Will these LPs be going on in October? I'm not 100% sure. And it saddens me to say that because I don't want to get all that stuff caught up in what I'm doing, but generally what's going to happen is I'm going to see how like the first week goes and I'm going to see like what the basic reaction is and all that and I'm just going to see, you know, test the waters by throwing out a few scary LPs with face cams, stuff like that and we'll see what the uh, basic general reaction is and if it doesn't go well or if uh, somebody like would rather there be more Banjo-Kazooie somewhere in there like on the weekends maybe then I'll be happy to do that but uh, that might limit our time on the uh, actual other LPs because that's cutting off two days every week from you know time that those LPs could be getting done and I have no idea what I'm going to do if I get all these done early because I'm definitely not going to start another game. I guess I would just continue and find really short... I guess that's why the Amnesia Custom Stories are in there because if I finish all those Half-Life mods that I'm going to be doing then the Custom Stories are going to be filling up the rest of what's going on and hopefully that can be done in a reasonable amount of time and we'll have them all done before November. Or maybe I'll do Lone Survivor or Cryostasis even in uh, leftover time if we finish early. But once again, I don't know how long Cryostasis is, but I do know that Lone Survivor is pretty short. Anyway, to sum it all up, this is going to be a very special October because of all this stuff. Sadly, another point to October is that there won't be any vlogs because I don't feel the need to do any of them or to do one even though that hurts me personally as a person not like my feelings like oh it's my feelings no it doesn't hurt me that way because recently I have signed up for partnership and monetization on my vlogs, not on my Let's Plays, because my Let's Plays have way too much copyright stuff in them to even be considered for monetization. But my vlogs might make the cut, but I'm still under review. And I guess we'll see about that. But if that does go through, and I do get that whole ad partnership with Google, then you're going to be seeing a lot more vlogs, because that's going to be, you know, generally the only videos I'm able to monetize and there's gonna be a lot less copyright in my vlogs meaning I'm gonna to have to use like royalty free songs stuff like that I'm gonna to have to find alternatives to a lot of the stuff I do anyway that's about all I gotta say um, hopefully you enjoy October um, like I said it's kind of a we're kind of testing the waters We'll see what happens, and like I said, if the first week goes really well, uh, then I'll continue along with it for all of October. If you guys have any suggestions, leave them in the comments. Um, even though I know I said a lot of games in there, like our four main ones, and I said like Metro 33, 2033, if you want, or if uh, I 
can find a way to do it in a good amount of time or like even a costume quest or something like that I'd be happy to throw any of those in um, but the thing about that is that uploads are gonna be working semi differently maybe what I'm gonna be doing is switching from two uploads every day or because how it is right now I upload up to three videos a day I normally have my two normal LPs and then I'll do something like this which is normally a vlog or a announcement or an update video like this but basically what's gonna be happening is maybe I'll push it to be three uploads every day for all the games to try to truck them along and get them done and to put more of a variety out there in case one of the things that I'm doing doesn't really appeal to you too much but back to my original point when I was starting what I was saying with the addition of all those things I announced there's gonna be plenty more that I'm considering but uh, nothing that's a hundred percent yet because it either relies on other people or it relies on something that I don't have yet so I guess we'll see but anyways um, I don't know why I'm saying this now but happy Halloween uh, hopefully October goes well for you and may you be scared of plenty and hopefully uh, my face cam works out well who knows maybe if my face cam works out well enough and I get a positive reaction from it then maybe I'll even incorporate it into my not scary LPs like Banjo Kazooie and Fallout even though that's really not necessary to have a face cam but I feel like reactions sometimes are a completely different thing than what you're saying you know it's like it's an entire different type of comedy because it that's when you're going into physical comedy but anyways I've already talked too long I'll see you next time thank you so much for watching this has been your host as always Leonio. Mm -hmm.